So Matt, kind of a follow up from our previous conversation in terms of personal branding, I feel that part of the personal branding is creating content. And some of the students or new immigrants or students or even job seekers that, as we mentioned during COVID time, they've left their jobs and now they want to enter back to the job market, but they don't know where to start, how to do every day to post, once a week to post. So what are your thoughts? That's great. So I would say, first and foremost, you, you can always look to see what others are doing to yeah. start getting inspiration. I wouldn't say, like I said before, no copying and pasting, but get some inspiration. I've looked yeah, at other yeah. resume writers and yeah. coaches. Hey, that's a good idea. Or I would probably wouldn't do that. So start to have a journal of some sort of tracking as well as a calendar. Like you said, calendar and some sort of tracker are crucial for any of this. So that way you're holding yourself accountable and what you're going to post. I would spend time doing research of what you want to post first and foremost yeah. and get maybe 10 ideas, then start to attack as you go, each of those 10 things. Yeah. And then as you get that experience, then you're going to get a little bit more savvy with how to do it. And then by the time you're rolling, you're not going to have a hard time figuring out what to write. But here's this. So stay in your lanes, right? The more general, uh, the less interesting, the more niche, the more people are going to adapt yeah. even, or I would say follow it, but those people will be important to you because they're in your sandbox again. So um, I would definitely like, if you like, go back to electrical engineering, if you're electrical engineer, you want to write about some sort of topic, what's hot in electrical engineering now? Go look, yeah. go, go Google. Who, what are the top five companies in the industry doing? Are there any mergers and acquisitions? Angles you can go about are crazy. And you could go into the day-to-day -day of how you see, you know, yourself as an EE or, or your place in the world, or you can go into, you know, what, what your thoughts are on, you know, maybe a company that's relocating somewhere or, or, yeah. or, or, or um, best practices for when doing X, Y, and Z diagramming when you're formulating, you know, whatever. So yeah. you can figure out all these different neat parts of electrical engineering and put them in their, their own little buckets and then start to draw content for each of those ideas. Maybe one's day-to-day, yeah, -day, one's technical expertise, one's industry expertise, one's major company. Like so, yeah. and then just track, track, track. Just try to have it all visually out there. Yeah. And then when it comes to the words and the writing, that takes some time to understand. Unless you're a writer and you can kind of flow. Um, yeah. I'm still always adapting. You can always ask for help from people. Um, you can always send it over to Fiverr Yes. Five bucks, get an article and then tweak it to make it your own, but at least yeah. have some bones for you, Something. right? So, yeah. yeah, there's ways to create content, yeah. but start small and then yeah. you'll grow. Yeah. Another thing that I we talked about earlier is that I tell my clients that identify 10 or 20 companies that you want to work, follow them on LinkedIn or social platform. They're posting content. You can start from there and then share their content. And again, put your two cents ideas or even make comments and then follow up and reach out. And again, sometimes as you mentioned on Google, maybe you can write like civil engineering and stop. There will be a lot of topics coming up. Every day you can talk one of them and then you can start, as you said, start and then you can grow from there. Exactly, stalk them because somebody's behind that account monitoring it and you never know when you'll be able to open yeah. up a dialogue with the people yeah. posting. Not that they may or may not, but hey, you know, get in there, get in that. And not only that, then you also get advantages of understanding what that company is doing or making moves that might not be broadcast in other yeah. mediums or like their newsletter. I love company newsletters because yeah, sometimes it's only content for that audience where you would not have seen it on any sort of Google search. So yeah, get, yeah if you want to work at Apple, man, uh, like you mentioned earlier with the cover letters, real quick about that. Like if you want to work at Apple, write a cover letter that tells them how great Apple is and be meaningful and, and authentic with it. Yeah. It'll go a long way if you get some human eyeballs on it. Yeah, those are great tips, Matt. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Matt.